Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about this iPhone. Uh, I wanted to take a little different approach just because there's so many uh, iPhone videos out there that this one really won't really matter. But I just wanted to kind of give my perspective of why somebody would buy an iPhone. Um, like I work in different places and I, I always, one of the things I do kind of like take notice I find interesting is, you know, the way people use their phones, the way, you know, what phones people choose to have and, you know, how they choose to uh, express, I guess is the term to, you would say, um, themselves, I guess. Because like at this point, a lot of the phones nowadays are like pieces of jewelry in a way. You know, people uh, use it to kind of have like the the latest uh, model or anything like that. You know, and some people are happy happy just using an iPhone. You know, using any kind of phone. So, and I got this iPhone. I got it. Uh, you know, Black Friday. It was a little deal. My phones don't really have too much, too many deals out there, so whenever you do see one, like, for $50 off or $100 off, like, it's like, okay, you know, that's that's about as much as it's ever going to be, so I decided to pick this up. I picked up the red iPhone 11, the regular, the, the peasant phone, as some would say, um, because I do have two phones, so I am currently using my uh, Note 10 Plus. So I'm like, I always like to have a secondary phone for like uh, my my work, like the other one's for my work and the other one's for like, just like, uh, they call it a trap phone, I guess uh, you can call it, but not really do too much trapping. But yeah, so I got this, the 64 gigabytes, because I really don't need um, the bigger uh, storage options. So, oh. Well, I forgot to mention Apple made this like real unboxing friendly. So I got the red one because it, it, it kind of looks cool, you know. It has the two cameras. I'm not going to go with all the specs because you probably already know all the specs if you somehow managed to reach this video. And the one thing about iPhones is that I don't really know if like how many people who buy iPhones really care about specs. They just know that it's an iPhone and they know it's going to be good. I have I don't have it on me right now, but I've been using an iPhone SE, like the very you know the small uh, screen one, and that came out like in 2015, and it still works pretty pretty good. Like Apple is one of those things that if you're lucky and you don't have any uh, you know repair needed, you know if everything works out fine, like those phones last a long time now. The one thing I do have to say about Apple products is that currently nowadays, if you do need a repair, like if you get unfortunate enough to have to need one, it can go both ways. It can go pretty good if you have Apple Care and you got, you know, you bought that because of insurance or because you know yourself and you know you're going to break it, then, you know, you, you can uh, kind of luck out with that. But if you don't have Apple Care, sometimes, they might fix it the way they should do it and sometimes they might just give you the run around i've had both experiences uh both with apple care and not apple care and both without apple care where you get good service and the other times where it's just like they just keep giving you the the run around and so i've had experiences with all those so the one thing with apple is I always try to make sure people go like you know, they're really good. They're good phones. But, you know, just make sure you, if you know you're going to be, you're not careful with your devices. Like, you're always doing dangerous things with, like, your laptops and stuff. Like, if you're always at a coffee shop and you're drinking coffee next to your laptop and you know that's going to be your life, make sure you have Apple Care with you. Because if you don't have Apple Care, you know, you're going to be, you know, assed out and shit. But, uh, so yeah, so here's the iPhone. You open it up. Nice red. I like really like this red color. Like I was the, the good thing about the iPhone 11 is that it does give you a variety. It has like 
kind of like a light green, like teal looking. And then it has like a white one. It has a black one. I think there's a yellow one. And there's a purple one, I think. So I went with the red one just because, okay, it kind of looks cool. I, I kind of like the product red version of it. So it has the two camera bumps right there. So one is a regular one and one's a wide angle, which I really don't care about the telephoto, the zoom in. Doesn't really matter to me. The wide angle, I use that a lot more often because uh, I'm always in like uh, small spaces. So a wide angle is always good to kind of get the wide angle. So product red, Apple logo in the middle. They say if you put your fingers in the, in the Apple logo, you should be able to balance it. I do not have Apple Care, so if I break this in the video, uh, let's see, let's see if we can get it balanced. Oh, there you go, balanced. All right, enough dangerous stuff. All right, so let's peel this out. Some people are really, really uh, into that whole unpeeling. Well, there's no peel in the back. All right. That's it. All right, so let's see what's in the box. <clears throat> we have the paperwork, which I don't think anybody ever reads. I, I remember when like phones first came out, like I would actually read the books just to see what they said. But then after after that, you kind of like and you got the Apple stickers. Okay, so you get the little um, charger. Even though I believe this phone is capable of faster charging, but they give you this little uh, peasant. Uh, I need to stop copyright using copyright material. This is using this uh, cheap. It's not cheap, but low, low charging, whatever. And then you got the headphones, with which you use with the has a little lightning adapter. You do not get the dongle anymore. I don't think so. You got the charging cable. So that's all in there. It's funny because I have so many of these uh, lightning cables. And I never use um, these headphones. So they always stay in the box. So I, they're just going to stay there for the rest of their lives, I guess. Unless I decide to sell the phone or something. Or give it to somebody else. They might have more need for it. All right, so let's turn this on. And I like that it has a, a black <clears throat> black uh, screen, like the black bezels, and it has a red all around. It feels nice. I have a Pixel 3 next, right here next to it. They're about the same size, the Pixel 3, if you look on here. They're kind of the same, and it's kind of hard to see with the black. But I, I believe the iPhone is a little bit wider. <clears throat> oh man, what's wrong? A little bit wider, just by the bezel. Alright, so I'm going to pause this. I'm going to fast forward to when I have this already you know connected so I'll be back and then you can kind of look a little bit at how it looks which if you have an iPhone you already know how it looks on the inside so hold on all right so I'm just doing this real quick so what I did is I downloaded the move to iOS app on the pixel 3 and I'm gonna move the information to the uh, iPhone so let's see, um, this is just a test to see if I'm actually able to do this because in the past I've been able to, I've been having problems with it. Move, access your contact, sure. All right. This might make it in the video or might not make it in the video. Um, device locations, yeah, whatever, they know where I live. Move, uh, access photos, sure. Move everything. No point. Alright, so find your code. If you don't see the code on your phone, make sure. Blah, blah, blah. Press next. Come on. Okay, so I got to enter the code. Tools. 
seven. see it. I don't really I'm not really sure how it does that I don't know if it tries to connect like on the same Wi-Fi or or what I don't even think this is connected to the Wi-Fi oh it, it creates its own little Wi-Fi network I think that's what happens okay it didn't do it I know in the past I had this same issue I had to do something because uh, it, it wouldn't it, it just wouldn't connect let's see move data from Android maybe I did it too slow let's see okay so it's asking for the code again one nine let me do this faster one zero six let's go let's see because I know I think this is creating its own little like um, on Wi-Fi so because I was connected to the Wi-Fi here but as you can see at the top it's not connected anymore it has a little X on it okay there you go let's see if it actually does it all right I'll be back when once this is done all right, so it seems like the transfer has been complete. So now I just have to continue set on, setting up iPhone. And one thing I noticed is that the iPhone did not come with a SIM, SIM injector tool. So I had to take one from my old ones and use it. I don't know if it's, I don't know where it is. So that's kind of messed up. All right, so I got to put my Apple ID off. All right. All right, so I'm finally in after all that struggle. It, iPhone does take a while to, wants to transfer. Anyways, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, you know, everybody knows how it looks like. It's the same old stuff since, since this day. You know, it's the same thing, same layouts, same type of customization. Um, it always gets connected to the top there's no app drawer so it is a very uh, safe um, device meaning from device to device people will get the same experience therefore there's really no learning curve if you're switching from one phone to another the only big difference the biggest difference was this one used to have this home home button you know fingerprint reader but everything else is uh, the layouts are the same um, you know like this one instead of you go up and this one you kind of go down to get the same thing so that's the only learning curve that there is really um, like I was saying I think a lot of you know I people get iPhones it's very safe um, people just get it because they hear iPhone is the best phone all right so I took a little break because I wasn't able to formulate my thoughts of how I wanted to say it. What I, what I was trying to say is they don't take advantage. The people who have iPhones, a lot of times, from what the ones I've seen, um, they, they don't take advantage of the actual Apple apps. Like, you know, the, the mail or the, the, the podcast, the, you know, the, like the books and stuff. Like, a lot of times people just download the Google apps and they just use the Google apps for their calendars their their uh, all, like all their organization things so they just use Google because either at their work or at their you know college or whatever they use Gmail so they just use like the Gmail stuff and they never use any of the calendar stuff and there's a lot of functionality you can actually get you know be, within the apps and a lot of people don't fully use the abilities of the Apple apps which to be honest i don't really use either because a lot of my accounts are google accounts so the only i use the, my icloud account as only like a, a backup so that's my my backup email so and i do use the podcast um you know app 
that's the that's the one that I really do use a lot and I really like. It's easy to find stuff and most of it is available there. But in terms of like calendars, in terms of like any of those little things, I, I always use my Google account. So, and I just saying like, so a lot of times people just get iPhones and it's like they don't take the time to to learn about it, like to know, because sometimes they'll, they'll hand me an iPhone saying, oh, I'm not able to do, um, how can, is there a way to do a certain um, thing? And I show them how to do it, and they're like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And and I know probably like the Apple Store has like, um, what's it called? The, at the Genius Bar, they have the little set classes where they can kind of show you more things of how to use an iPhone. But honestly, there's lots of YouTube videos you can go to and show, there's like tips and tricks of how to do certain things. Some people don't know how to, um, I know there was a, a time, I don't think they have it now. There was a time where there was like, a, oh yeah, it does, like the background, it kind of moves as you move the, the phone. So a lot of people were having headaches, so they didn't know that you could take it off. You know, people don't know, it, the, the one thing that I really don't like about um, iOS is that you have to go everything you have to go <clears throat> to the settings but then you have to kind of you know poke around through here to the different things and a lot of times let's say you did find it once upon a time and then somebody else is having that same issue sometimes you forget where it was so you go to general and you're like, oh, it was that in the uh, accessibility thing? And then you're like, oh, where's the accessibility? Oh, it's not here. I thought it was in general. So then you're like kind of looking around and you're like, where's the accessibility? And then you're like, oh, I can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. So then you go to like, all right, then you go back to general and you're like, oh, but I, I has to be somewhere in there. And then you look in there and you're like, oh, accessibility. No, where, where is accessibility? So then you go back out and you're like, uh, Oh, there we go. It was it was right here the whole time, and then you're going through here, and they're like, "Oh, where was that um, that 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 the part was it in, was that a, a visual thing?" And then you click in there, and you're like, "No, it wasn't there." Um, you know, mo is it motion? Oh, motion. Oh, there we go. Reduce motion. I can turn it on and turn it off. And it, a lot of times it's kind of like that confusing um, settings menu. Like, I don't like the iOS settings. And, and, and it, it could be perhaps because I'm not using iOS as much as I use Android. Because even Android, like, different manufacturers have the settings differently. This That was a big problem back, like, before. I think nowadays, they try to keep it almost the same, you know, with slight variations. But, um, and, and sometimes that can get confusing, but, like, I find iOS settings a little bit more confusing, confusing than usual. That's just my personal opinion. If there are people <clears throat> who are so used to iOS that they can find anything at any time, that's good for you. I'm just talking from a perspective of somebody new, somebody who's never used iOS before. It can be confusing at, at first. Um, I can't, so like for example, if we go to, to Android here, you just go here, there's a settings. And, you know, it, it has the same thing, but the one thing about th this can be confusing also as, at, at times. But let's see. Um, a lot, a lot of the like the little things, like if you go to the camera. See, like if you if we swipe down, there's the settings right there, and you can change the settings uh, of the camera, like from the resolutions and, and stuff like that. Like uh, in an iOS, <clears throat> we go back to the camera. Like I couldn't find it unless it's somewhere here, and I can't find it. Maybe I'm just not searching far enough. Like I, I can't find a spot where they has it, so 
just little things like that. that there is a little bit. This is kind of like it. It um. It's kind of like a linear game, like a game that's linear. So it, it kind of guides how you should be using a phone. So Apple is telling you, okay, your phone, you should be using it like this. This is how uh, you want to do this other thing. No, that's not, we don't want you to do that. We want you to do this. So like, for example, the apps, I can't put them where I want to put them. You put them in a linear way, you know. Some people like it. You can put you can put it in folders. You know that's a good option to kind of put away the apps that you don't want to use often. But like Android, it lets you do wherever you want. You want to put it down here, or put it over here. And I, and I can I get it because uh, I've seen some people with Android phones, and they'll they'll have like they'll have like oh cancel. They'll have like this app here. This have this app here. They'll have this app here. And then they'll have like, like things all over the place. And it, it kind of when you look at it, and you're trying to find their apps. You're kind of like, oh snap, where are they? So you kind of go like into the app drawer, and it's a lot easier. You can just type in the, the, the app you want to use. Let me just open this. But in this one, I'll say. It'll it looks less cluttered in a in the way that you can't put apps all over the place, but you know then every phone looks the same, and you know you know you can either think that's a good thing or a bad thing that's that's on you that's for you to decide. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have like I said, if you're gonna have an Apple phone and you're gonna be doing dangerous stuff with it, like you're gonna be. Uh, often, you know, if you work as a mechanic or you work at some something where, where construction where you're, you need your phone but the phone might fall, get Apple Care. You know, if you are really good with maintaining your phone, it's low risk. You have a low risk job for phone destruction, then you don't need Apple Care because these should last you a while. It has, uh, it's waterproof. I don't know how, I don't know, some IP rating. Uh, that that's meaningless. You just don't put your phone in the water. Like even if it's waterproof, like that should just be used as a backup. You know, like emergency. Like you're 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 chilling at the at the by the pool and somebody pushes you in, you know, and you get out right away. You know, that's fine. You know, that's an emergency situation. But if you're just gonna be swimming with it, like just get a GoPro, get a camera that's actually built for it. Like. Don't don't put this in your phone because you have your data there. You know, you have your pictures. And some people don't even back up their pictures. So if you have an eye, you know, you make sure you back up your pictures. Uh, you can use Google Photos. Like, because I know the iCloud backup, like, you you have to pay for it. And in Google Photos, you pay for it too. But they give you a storage for, like, you know, decent quality pictures. Uh, so make sure you always back up. Because a lot of times it's hard to see somebody who or they put it in water and their phone won't turn on. And then Apple says, well, you lost your, your data. You're going to have to take it somewhere other than Apple to, to recover that data. If it's on your hard drive of the, of the phone. So if you just back, you know, get in the, uh, in the habit of backing up your information, you know, you should be good. And that goes for either both Apple and, and Android so it doesn't really matter which one you have always back up your data so yeah that's about it I'm gonna finish setting up this phone and you know just kind of want to give a little opinion on the on the Apple Apple phones which you know I like it I do like it like it's not uh, it's not I'm, I know that sometimes it might seem that I'm like Hating on it? No, I'm not hating because I've been I've been using iPhones and Androids, and I try to maintain a balance so that I'm able to help. Because I do a lot of tech help, <laughs> if you can say that, you know. Because I'm the tech support of my family, you know. I you know helping out my 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 friends and family, uh, brothers and sisters. If they like, I'm the one who knows more about tech, so I try to stay familiar with both because I know there's gonna be somebody with an iPhone. 
and they don't they can't figure out how to do something and that that way I can kind of go on my own phone and test it out and try to figure it out and then I can let them know oh this is how you do it so so it's all like like there's no need to be oh I'm just gonna be Android or I'm just gonna be Apple like there's that's kind of dumb like don't don't be that person you know if you prefer Android cool you know just say just say why you prefer Android you know and if you like Apple that's fine just say why you like Apple but like you you can easily say oh I hate this about uh, Apple and I hate this about Android that's fine too but it's like when you start attacking people over like Android people are stupid Apple people are stupid that, that's kind of that's kind of dumb in, in my opinion all right man so that's about it I'm out sorry for this long video if you watched it and you say to the end uh, put a comment and I don't know you'll, you'll, you'll get rewarded in life all right deuces